Sheesh. Today, let's go over the interrupted horizontal mattress stitch. Uh, can you take us through the individual steps? Sure, Jeff. It's actually done by entering the skin at 90 degrees, about uh, three millimeters, two to three millimeters from the wound edge. And you can see um, at the deep portion, we go through and enter the opposite side of the wound at the same level and then come out a few millimeters away from the wound edge. Whoa, 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 you're entering the same side? Yeah, well, you can see that's an important part of this uh, stitch is that instead of coming back and tying it off, you actually go up on that same side and go through and reverse the steps going the other way, forming a suture that has two arms. That's crazy. Why would you do this? Well, as you can see here, Jeff, when we tie it off, it's going to actually give you a lot of eversion because you have pulling from both ends. Also, those two limbs on either end of the wound or either side of the wound, I should say, provide hemostasis. Finally, since this is an interrupted suture, we can just remove a single suture in case of a hematoma or seroma. That's crazy. Jeff, that's the interrupted horizontal mattress stitch.